everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Alyssa. thanks for stopping by today's video is going to be a desk tour i'm so excited i recently got a new desk well recently as in like a couple of months ago um, because i started working from home so i'm excited to show you what's in my desk and how i've organized everything if that's something that interests you please like comment share and subscribe and keep watching thanks this is kind of an overview of the desk. It's got two five drawer Alex drawer units on either side that act as the leg and just a white countertop uh, on top. And I love that it's all white and it really brightens up this space. And then on top of my desk, I have my laptop and my craft chest that if you saw my uh, craft storage video, uh, it hasn't changed too much. I'll try and link that down below. And on top of that, I just have a mug that my roommate gave me when I moved in. And a little tiny Winnie the Pooh sitting in, inside of it. There's a worry stone and a little basket. And then another little organizer that I got from Amazon that mostly has paper clips and push pins in it. And then on top of that, there's a stand for my phone in case I want to like watch YouTube movies or YouTube videos or something. Uh, in this cute butterfly box, there's some hand cream and hand sanitizer and a lip balm. Um, and I like just keeping those within reach, but not out on the desk. So, and then behind there is just a box of Kleenex. If you move up even further, there's a bulletin board that just has some little trinkets, little mementos, and then a painting that I painted. And then to the right, there's a crayon art piece that uh, I did. You melt crayons with a hairdryer onto a canvas. And it took forever. Uh, it's not something I think I'd ever do again, but it turned out really cool. And then next to that is a butterfly... Uh, just wall decoration. That's the wall above the desk. Next to my craft chest is my work computer and on top of the stand that I got from Amazon is just an external monitor and then my laptop is underneath the stand. Uh, it works really well to save on space. And then next to that, back there is my Amazon uh, device and then next to that is my I'm printer. I'm Alyssa popping in to say that the desk is from Ikea and the printer is a Canon TS series 3500 in case you were wondering. I'm sure I'll try and link it below. It's got a built-in scanner and then in front of that is my lamp. It's sort of a strange looking lamp. I know, uh, it came from Amazon. There is a USB port in the back and that was kind of important to me. I also wanted something that you could change the brightness of. So that's it when it's off. That's the lowest, medium, and highest. And so that is the desktop. Now we'll get into the Alex drawers. We're gonna start on the right hand side this side is mostly uh like office supplies and things for my job this drawer just has uh, my braille display that uh, i can hook up to my laptop and it will show me what's on the screen in braille and then back there there's just extra cords and things that i use for work my work phone uh, a case for my uh, Bluetooth earbuds, and there's a little magnifier in the front corner there. So that drawer just has stuff for work. Uh, there's my glucose monitor. I don't know why that's in there. Then this is a... It's called a pen friend. And an audible labeling system. This sticker right there has a voice recording on it. And so... I can use it to label like food packaging. And, uh, you'll see I've used it in a couple other ways as we go on with this tour. Then there's a three hole punch and just papers and things for my job. Next we have my tech drawer. This just has like 
uh, my external mouse, an external keyboard. There's like glucose tablets and medicine back there. That's all that's in this drawer. It just has printer paper. So there's photo paper and then eight and a half by 11 paper. And then in the back there are bigger padded envelopes. So nothing too exciting in that drawer. This bottom one is all of my stuff for my Etsy shop. So there's a box of business cards. There's um, some little organza bags that I use to put uh, jewelry pieces in that I make. There's packing materials and envelopes and tissue paper. So I like having that all in one drawer. So that's the first five drawer unit. Now we're gonna move on to the unit on the left hand side. And I think this one is the more exciting of the two. This top drawer has some like adhesives, glue, glue dots and things for scrapbooking, and then some adult coloring books and, and sketch pads, and uh, some little edging scissors. A uh, plastic acrylic container. This acrylic container is empty. I got these from Amazon and they turned out to be a really great uh, investment. I think I got eight of them for like $15. So not too bad. Next drawer is one of my favorite drawers because it has all of my writing implements. Well, there's a pair of scissors in the front and a pencil sharpener. And then these are dual-ended markers that I'll use for like my adult coloring books and um, drawing and, and that kind of thing. And uh, you'll see there's another one of these labels, these sticker labels, so that I know that like this one is all my pinks and purples. So I like to be able to group um, my writing implements by color. So if I'm looking for an orange marker, I don't have to dig through 20 markers to find it. I can just find the the ones that are orange. Back here, this pencil box is full of Crayolas, just crayons. Uh, this one is full of black markers, so like there's a Sharpie, um, there's a couple other black markers, and then if you lift this up, underneath there are uh black pencils and like a pen and uh, i think there's maybe a white pencil in here too but mostly black pencils so that if i'm looking for a specific ink color uh i know where to go next to that are some really fun paint markers paint pens i like to use them sometimes for scrapbook pages uh, then these, again, grouped by color. Actually, not really grouped by color. These are gel pens, and these are more grouped by finish. So I know that, like, if I'm looking for metallic gel pens, I can pretty easily figure out which ones are which. There's the pencil sharpener again. These are all of my colored pencils. They are definitely not artist quality. There's some Crayolas in there, and there's the rest are a big set from Five Below. I tried to organize them by color as best as I could, and again, you'll see they're in bundles. So they're definitely not artist quality, but for what I use them for, I don't really need artist quality. All that's in this third drawer are some oil pastels and ribbon. I don't really use a whole lot of ribbon, but it's there in case I want it. This next drawer is also my favorite drawer. This drawer has all of my makeup. It all fit in one drawer, and I even fit my makeup remover cloths back here. So, I will give you a quick tour of this drawer, and if you want a more in-depth look at my makeup collection, you can comment down below, and I'll do a separate video really going through everything. Um, down here in the front, I have some Maybelline lifter glosses. There's a 
manicure block. And next to that, I don't know if you can see down there, there's a, um, there's a lip scrub and then a facial roller, a quartz roller. And then we have all my lip products. Um, I tried to separate them by, kind of by color, but also by function. So most of this first row is like lip gloss, lip balm and lip scrub, but there is one Sephora lip gloss in the front there. Then there's another lip gloss, and then these are like kind of all pinks, and then next to that are kind of more neutrals. And then next to that are more, uh, a set of Elizabeth Arden lipsticks and then beside that I have a couple of uh, perfumes and some manicure tools and some hair barrettes so that's pretty much all that's in that holder that's meant for lipstick then if you look over here I have some nail polish strips along the side here and some extra vitamin e prep pads for when i do my nails the makeup brush cleaner in there this is a bath and body works fine fragrance mist one of the littler sizes in a whipped berry meringue i really like that one and if you come back here there's some more nail strips and a kabuki brush and all of my blush and my foundation and so there's my elf blush there's nars there's the milani blush a couple of peach blushes back there uh then this next basket is all my eyeshadow well almost this is all of my eyeshadow palettes and a couple of single shadows and then way back here, in addition to the makeup removers, which are kind of taking over, there's a, a makeup kit. And that's got tons of eyeshadow and some blush and um, a couple of like powders and bronzers and that kind of thing. Really, this bottom drawer is empty, so there's room to grow. So that is my entire desk tour. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and share, and especially subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.